The process of importing data from a SQLite database is very similar to the process of importing it from a Microsoft SQL Server database. Let me go ahead and close that. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, add another cell after that. And we'll do level two header for, um, what did I have up here? So I had from an MS SQL Server database. So this will be from a SQLite database. And then that's going to be Markdown. Um, and then a level three header. So make a connection. And Alt plus Enter, actually Markdown, Control Enter to execute that. Um, and then it's similar to what we did to open a connection to SQL Server, except that we use a different driver and we don't have to supply as many arguments. So the driver that we need is import SQLite 3, and then let's go ahead and do connection equal SQLite3.connect, and you just need to give it the name of the database file. So um, database.sqlite. And then uh, that should give me a connection that I can print. So let's go ahead and execute that. And I got my connection. So now I have one problem. I don't know the name of the table um, that I want to write a query against. So um, what I want to do is actually find out the name of the tables that are in this database. And there's a SQL command that you can execute to do that. So let me go ahead and look up SQLite, um, yeah, list of tables, Python. How to list tables using SQLite 3. And then there's some example code. So this query will actually return what I want. Actually, I'm going to copy these two lines here. And then let's go back to my... Jupyter Lab Notebook, add a cell. Let's go ahead and make this markdown. And this is going to be level three. Find out the names of the tables in the database. And Alt plus Enter. Paste in the code. Alt plus Enter. Um, and then to make the cursor, say cursor equal connection dot cursor. And this is actually the same code as you would use if you were accessing a Microsoft SQL Server database. So we see that there's only one table and it's called salaries. So in order to fetch the data, I want to say data frame equals actually PD dot read SQL query. And then my SQL query is going to be select star from salaries semicolon. And then that's going to come from connection. And then let's look at what we have in the data frame. OK. So I can see there's an ID column, employee name, job title, base pay over time, other pay, benefits, total pay, total benefits. Not too much more. Year, notes, agency, and status. Um, so I have my data in a data frame. That's all I need for now. 
So that was the second method.